Good morning and welcome to Kathy's Corner, Seed in the Sand. And this is chapter three of Pause, P-A-U-S-E, and Reflect. And it's kind of going through my morning routine um, to um, transition in that volleyball game that we were doing where the coach was just pounding the volleyballs at me or whoever envisions this, um, that the, those balls are just coming at you left, right, and up and down, and all you're doing is just defending yourself. And now we're transitioning into the front row where we become that ag aggressive player, that assertive player um, in life. And um, so that pause is a nice reflection, or that rotation is a nice reflection um, to say, you know, I don't have to do this. I don't, um, this isn't happening to me. I get to do this. I get to be the, you know, the, the one that gets the point. I get to be the one that is the star of the show. I get to be the one that manifests my dreams. I get to be the one that God answers my prayers. And, um, so I'm kind of asking God how to take more steps to be more organized, more energized, more inspired. Um, and how can I let go of the excess weight that I've been carrying on my back? I can just feel my back kind of straightening up. Um, and that's kind of in my morning routine. Getting that morning routine um, going it just really makes, I'm sorry, Phil's right next, next to me. Um, it, it just gets me going to ask for guidance, ask for clarity, ask for um, that specific gratitude. Um, and thank you for all that sustains my needs. And um, so I've been kind of yesterday, I talked about like my routine, what I'm trying to use a green drink or a green smoothie every day. Um, drinking more water, eating healthier, um, gratitude with my journals, gratitude with my prayers and meditation, and just just like inspiring myself. And that's when I say pause and rotation, I mean that that morning routine uh, to get your day going the right way, get it going on the right track, and um, becoming really. Um, making it like it's my choice. It's my decision to make it a great day. And, um, you know, it's kind of funny because yet this morning I woke up and what do I do? I look at my phone and I have a reminder that this time three years ago, I was not in a good place. I was in, I was in a psychotic episode and, um, and it's that reminder and it's like, no, that is, that was then, this is now, I'm inspiring myself to become the best person I can be for today. And whatever happened in the past, happened in the past. We're letting that go. We're putting that behind us. We're not going to have those reminders um, of, you know, to reflect on. We're going to reflect on the future. Where am I going to be three years from now? I'm going to be like writing books, making movies, I'm going to be producing musicals. I'm going to be, you know, just in a home of my own. I'm going to be, where am I going to be in the, in three years from now, um, rather than where was I three years ago, if that makes sense. So, yeah, so I hope that everybody's having a great day and... Um, we, we do these cards every day just as a inspiration. It's not, like I said, it's not really, I've said this many times before, it's not really something that I, I depend on, but it's, it's something that I feel like God picks the cards for us and there's really never a bad message. It's always kind of reflective of what I'm talking about and it's the emperor. That's wonderful because I always associate that with God. So, 
that's a wonderful card to be on the bottom and and i don't look at those i promise i don't uh, look at those before i pick them up and the one we're picking today is the queen of wands which is like a mother figure um and the wands are representative of action and movement and um fast action and um yeah so i i enjoy doing those little cards for you every day and i hope that if that anybody has a problem with that i can stop doing that and do something else but i like to do them um because they they usually give me the same type of um message that i'm referring to for for you um and the queen of wands is a nurturer um, who is going to help you uh, take action. So isn't that what we're talking about? And that's exactly what we're talking about. So get out your journals, write, you know, manifest, um, write down your dreams. I have, uh, sorry, let's see. I have, um, sorry, I'm going to make a lot of noise. But these are kind of things that I do artistically. Um, you can't read it, but it's like, these are my vision journals um, that I do a lot in like my little art classes that I do. And it's, it's just a heart. And in it, it says, you know, my dream home, my dream vacations, my dream friendships, um, my viral videos. They're not viral, but maybe one day, you never know. Um, Best-selling best books and musicals. And it just goes all the way around um, this heart. And then inside, I usually like draw pictures of what I want just to go a little deeper, a little further every day, push it and challenge myself and challenge you. And um, that my recovery is up to me. Nobody can do it. My doctors can't do it. Nobody can do this but me. And um, what's another one? Justice Always. Um, I like that one. Um, so, yeah. So, if, if you don't know how to manifest, all you got to do is just draw a little heart and draw pictures, handwritten pictures of what you want. You know, what do you want? Do you want fast happening cars or or a beautiful home with sunshine coming in every day and and sunsets on the porch or coffee on the porch or um you know however you want to incorporate your dreams into that heart um i do it on a regular basis as it, all my friends know it's like oh how many hearts has she got for today, you know, and <laughs> I draw hearts all the time, so, and, and do my dreams inside the heart, so, all right, I hope you all have a great day.